Now to Brexit. And a deal may be in sight. The British and German governments have abandoned key demands, we understand, potentially easing the path for a divorce agreement. Sources told Bloomberg that both countries are ready to accept fewer commitments on future UK-EU economic ties. The pound jumped on that news, erasing losses to snap a four-day losing streak. The pound against the dollar, pretty flat this morning, 129.07. So uh, perhaps not enormous moves by, uh, by sort of, you know, annual standards. Jane Foley's still with us, of course, from Rabobank. Uh, Jane, but certainly it was significant. I mean, basically what this report boils down to is that uh, instead of getting 100 pages on the future relationship as part of the withdrawal deal, we'll just get 10. So there'll be a lot less detail, which means a lot of things can be pushed into the future, cans kicked down the road. Does that provide any long-term comfort for pound investors or is this uh, uh, just pushes out questions? Well, it, it means that if, if, if Brexit goes ahead with a deal, obviously that's good news for, for Sterling, but it does mean that the rally that we would get on a deal probably wouldn't be as significant mm. as if we had all the details. So that means that with the uncertainty pushed into the transition phase, uh, you know, Sterling will still be vulnerable to the details. So, um, you know, our central view is, yes, a deal will be done. There will be a lot of uncertainty still hanging over into next year. Sterling can rally a little bit, but, but the, the gains uh, will be fairly moderate, I think. So if we're capped, Jane, as you say, until we get the final ink on the deal, um, if we leave, Anna and I spoke to Adam Posen the other day and he said, look, you're all under assuming the downside economic risk. We know he's written a great deal against Brexit. But let's just go to a positive area, which is we get a deal, we exit Europe and there is as a, something in the hinterland. What would a relief rally look like on agreed terms? Well, of course, it, it very much depends on, on what they are. Now, what the market doesn't want is, of course, is, is, is something that uh, resembles a hard Brexit. The market very concerned about that because it's, it's, this is to do with uncertainty. And, and generally speaking, currencies do not like uncertainty, irrespective of the cause. So uh, the more uncertainty we have, uh, the, the greater the vulnerability of sterling. The less uncertainty, i.e. The, the closer that we have to, to the situation now, is, is, is probably a good thing. So a softer Brexit, um, the greater the, the potential for a relief rally for the pound. But as we just said, it, it is likely that a lot, of, a lot of uncertainty will carry on to next year. And that means that that potential for a rally will, will also be limited. Really briefly, Jane, the euro, uh, oh. how much downside is there on the emerging market risk? Um, it depends on whether or not there's more contagion, depends on whether or not the markets decide that there is exposure in, 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 in banks. But certainly I think the dollar will do better than the euro on this, on this story. OK, Jane, thank you so much for sharing this out with Anna and myself, the head of FX strategy at Rabobank.